The essential elements of the Hammerhead Rev-D control system are a wrist unit, which houses all the electronic components, including an isolated battery compartment, as well as a heads-up display known as the DIVA, which stands for our patented Display Integrated Vibrating Alarm. The main display, either primary or secondary, shows all three oxygen sensors in real time. Sensor 1, 2, and 3 are displayed in isolated boxes which hold valuable information on each sensor in one place, allowing you to quickly determine any anomalies for any particular sensor. The display also shows elapsed surface time, which will increment minute by minute that the unit remains on the surface. In this particular case, you can see that the last time this unit was diving was 441 minutes ago, or roughly seven and a half hours. Next to the surface time is the dive time. This number will show that last dive duration for a period of 24 hours. Next to that is the maximum depth of the last dive, which remains until a new dive is performed. Below the oxygen sensor displays, there lies a group of information which will toggle continuously, giving the diver a stream of reminders during diving and surface operation. The unit will toggle between current battery voltage, then to the fraction of oxygen and helium component of the diluent gas currently selected, and finally, the current gradient factor setting the unit is using to calculate decompression. These three pieces of information are considered vitally important, which is why they are displayed in an active fashion. Next to this information is the current selected set point, the control point that the electronics will maintain the oxygen partial pressure within your breathing loop. Below that is the current temperature as detected by the system. Next to that, is the TTS, or Total Time to Surface. This is a calculation done by the hammerhead which informs the diver of the total remaining dive duration, assuming a gradual ascent and adherence to decompression stop requirements. This screen is replaced during any alert or alarm with an exclamation point alert to notify the diver that an alert condition exists. The final information on the bottom screen is the decompression obligation. During no-stop dives, it will display no-stop. Once the diver encounters decompression obligations, however, it will begin to display stops in the minute at ceiling format. In the event of an oxygen sensor being voted out, multiple notifications and indications are given to the diver. The first indication of a voted out sensor is on the main display itself. The voted out sensor's display will invert its video and alternating flashing asterisks will call the diver's attention specifically to the sensor which has caused the alert. The second warning will occur on the DIVA. A blue LED serves as an alert to the diver that a condition exists which warrants their attention. Notice that the green LED indicating adequate life support in the diver's loop continues to glow. Should the sensor move back into acceptable range, the alert condition will stop and the system will return to normal. Another great feature of the Hammerhead Rev-D Diva is that the LEDs facing the diver are on a pulse width modulation circuit, or PWM for short. This allowed us to give a distinctive glow pattern or personality, if you will, to the LEDs beyond a simple blinking on and off, a feature we call visual tactile signaling. Studies have shown that humans are sensitive to behaviors demonstrated by otherwise inanimate objects, and we have put this to good use in the new diva. For example, 
when the oxygen concentration of your breathing loop is within an acceptable range, the green LED will glow on and off in a steady, calm manner, indicating that all is well. The frequency by which this glow occurs is user-definable via simple menus, but in the event of an out-of-range condition, the LEDs will exhibit increasingly urgent behavior, allowing the diver to subconsciously process their message. In the DIVA configuration menu, the brightness and repeat rate of the diver side LED can be adjusted to suit your particular preference or diving requirements. In this particular case, we've changed the LED flash rate from once every five seconds to once every two seconds to illustrate how this feature works. The new Diva contains both diver side LEDs and buddy lamp LEDs on the opposite side facing away from the diver. The buddy LEDs allows any other diver looking at you to assess your loop condition in the same manner you are informed of it as well. This is particularly useful during training or when working as a team and is just another way we have tried to assist divers in sharing important information with their dive partners. This feature can be enabled or disabled in the Diva config menu. One of the most remarkable innovations in the Hammerhead Rev D is the new Diva Deco, which will revolutionize the way rebreather divers handle their decompression obligations while otherwise task loaded. This unique patent pending feature enables you to perform all your requirement decompression stops virtually hands-free using only the information presented to you by the Diva itself. How it works is quite simple. Once you have completed the bottom portion of your dive profile and are ready to begin your ascent and decompression stops, you simply access the Diva Deco menu using the left push button. Once you have enabled Diva Deco, you will notice a new LED flashing on the left side of your heads up display. This LED exhibits quite a different personality, if you will, than the life support LED, allowing you to easily distinguish between the two. As you can see in the video, a green LED flashes on the left side of the Diva. This green LED is like a go sign, telling you that you may begin to ascend towards your first stop depth. As you ascend in the water column and approach the depth of your first stop, an amber LED just above the rapidly flashing green LED will begin to light. This amber LED tells you that you are approaching your first stop depth. The green LED will continue to flash, indicating that you should continue to ascend. The amber LED will flash faster and faster the closer you get to your first stop depth, indicating that you are approaching the point in your ascent where you should stop. Once you have achieved your first stop depth, an amber LED located in the middle of the LED deco stack will light in a steady pattern, indicating that you are now at your first stop depth. You then remain at that depth until the green go LED turns back on, telling you that you have cleared this stop and may begin ascending to your next stop depth. Should you exceed your deco ceiling, meaning you ascend too high, a red stop LED on the LED deco stack will light up, indicating that you need to descend back to your correct stop. In this way, the LED deco stack operates like a gauge of your depth, with the correct stop depth represented by a singular amber LED.
In short, green means go and red means go back. Once you have completed your dive, the Diva Deco will reset to its default off condition so that you only have to activate Diva Deco when you are ready to end your dive and begin your ascent from depth. One of the most talked about features of the new Jurgensen Marine Rev-D electronics is the introduction of our Buddy Alarm feature on the new Diva. On the side of the Diva facing away from the diver are located two ultra-bright LEDs, one red and one white. These LEDs come into play most critically in the event of either a high PPO2 alarm or a low PPO2 alarm. During a condition where the loop PPO2 is equal to or exceeds 1.9, the danger of hyperoxia is present. This can result in confusion, convulsions, blackout, and potential death of the diver. Conversely, if loop oxygen levels drop below 0.19, hypoxia can result, leading to the same symptoms and outcome. In the past, there was no way for a diver to communicate problems with his loop, either high or low, in a direct manner. Audible alarms can indicate a variety of other issues easily ignored by fellow divers in the water. But with the buddy alarm feature of the new Diva, however, there is no mistaking a diver with a dangerous loop condition. Here's how it works. Whenever there is an emergency alarm, the Diva will warn the diver via flashing red LEDs on the diver's side of the Diva and will begin to actuate the vibrating motor to warn the diver in a tactile and personally audible manner. It will also now begin to alternately flash the ultra bright white and red LEDs facing away from the diver so that anyone in the diver's vicinity will know that something is wrong immediately upon looking in their direction, allowing them to hopefully render whatever assistance is necessary or to ensure that the diver is okay. Once the PPO2 emergency is no longer present, the alarm will stop. This single feature gives the hammerhead diver an unprecedented method of alerting fellow divers that they are in distress and require help. This is done automatically by the system with no diver input required, making this single feature one of the biggest advances in rebreather diver safety in modern times. After inventing the Diva Buddy Alarm, we began to think about how these unique ultra-bright white and red LEDs could be used by the diver in other non-emergency situations. We came upon two new ideas, which are now part of the Rev-D system. The first is what we call the Diva Headlight. Accessible from the right push button, the diver may turn on the ultra-bright white LED on his Diva. This puts a bright white headlight facing away from the diver's mask, which points in whatever direction they happen to be looking. While this does not replace a proper dive light, it is useful for finding lines in caves, reading a slate in the dark, or assisting a diver to find their way in the event their primary dive light failed. The duration the Diva headlight will remain on is user-definable in the Diva configuration menu. The second idea was to give the diver the ability to utilize the ultra-bright white and red LEDs facing away as a method of signaling other divers. Normally, these two lamps are not lit unless there is an emergency condition. But with the Diva Buddy Signal feature, the diver can call attention to themselves using visual cues across great distance. Also accessible from the right push button, the buddy signal lamps flash in a different pattern than the alarm lamps. Three red flashes, followed by a white flash, then a pause. This pattern will repeat itself based upon the user-definable setting in the Diva configuration menu. 